Hi guys, I am Mushewa Elmdangeni with Max XYZ and today we'll be starting on, on a new chapter which is financial mathematics. If you haven't subscribed to Max XYZ channel on YouTube, please do so so that you will be able to get daily notification when we upload videos. As I've already mentioned that today we'll be starting on a new chapter, financial mathematics. So we'll do we'll just do simple introduction and to introduce you on certain equations that you need so that you'll be able to solve uh, financial mathematics problems in financial mathematics we have what we call the simple growth and simple decay of which the difference between the two are the equation that we use of which for the simple growth it's it's a is equals to p into 1 plus i n and for the simple decay it's a is equals to p into 1 minus i n the difference between the two equation is that the other one is a plus and the other one is a minus for the simple growth, that's when you have invested your money into any account, then it gained interest and you receive a lot of money at the end of a certain period. But then with the simple decay, it's when you have maybe purchased a good which depreciate over time. Then at the end of a certain period, you would have paid a lot of amount compared to the initial amount that you have purchased the good with. The goods with I mean to say. Then with those two equations, we have this parameter which is A, P, I, and N, of which our A here stands for the final amount. This is the final amount, and our P is the principal amount, or we can say is the initial money is the initial is the initial money that you have invested, and our I is the interest rate. This is the interest rate of which the interest rate, if you are given an interest rate, let's say for 5%, then you have to divide that divide that 5% by 100 so that it can be in, an, in the form of an interest rate in, the, in, decim, in two decimal places. Then our N is, this is the time, which is the period that you have invested or the period that you will take to pay back the goods that you have purchased. So this is the time or the period of the, of the, of the principal amount of the principal amount that you have invested or that you would have used to purchase the goods then let's just go straight into a question so that we'll see how do we apply this to equation to solve a financial mathematics problem so here we have a problem which is lerato purchases furniture which costs twenty thousand the furniture depreciate at the value of nine percent per annum on a straight line method which is this one what will her furniture be worth after five years for this one, for this question, we have already been told that this, the furniture that she has brought, it will depreciate over time. So that means that from the two equation, the first the equation that we're gonna use is the is this equation for simple decay, because uh, the 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 goods that she has purchased, it it won't be appreciating in its value, but it will be depreciating over time. Then our initial amount here, we have uh, the initial amount of the value of the of the goods is twenty thousand. Of which the interest rate is nine percent per annum on the straight line method, and then they ask what will happen after five years. So we are given all the parameters that we need so that we'll be able to solve problem. We have a, we don't have a. That's what we're looking for. We need p. We have as the principal amount or the initial amount, which is twenty thousand, and the interest rate here we are given nine percent per annum, of which we have to divide it by hundred and then put it into decimal places. Then we have n, which is the time or period of which in this case they're asking what will the furniture be worth after five years then here we have a it's equals to remember it will be the simple decay because the value of the furniture that she has bought it will be depreciating over time then here we have p minus i n all right then the original amount here is twenty thousand, which is the which is p the initial amount and our i it's nine percent per annum of which it will be nine over 100 into two decimal places and our n which is the period that will take for for this thing to to see how how how, how much this furniture will be worth after five years then let me just patch this into a calculator and see what will be the furniture be worth after five years so it will be one minus nine over 100 of which you can always say it's nine percent multiplied by five which will be 11,000. So the finisher that she has bought, after five years, that finisher won't be worth any more than 11,000 after five years. That means that she will have lost uh, 9,000 from the original amount that she has used to purchase the goods. That means if you have, maybe she has bought uh, couches 
that means after five years so after buying the couches you will have to sell those couches at a value of eleven thousand compared to the original amount that she has used to sell that would be nine thousand difference all right guys i hope you understand thus that there's a difference between uh depreciating and appreciating of values when the the values depreciate then you have to use this equation of simple decay and when the value appreciate in its value then you have to use the, the simple growth uh, method because it will after a certain period of um, time the value of the goods that you have purchased it will be worth more than the original amount that you have used to purchase the good unlike here when she bought a furniture after a certain period of time the furniture is actually um it, it's worth quite less compared to the original amount that she has used to purchase the value to to purchase the goods i mean to sell all right let's just look into another example here of which in this example of which in this example we have Jeanette who invested 18,000 into a high risk short term uh, unit trust for three years. After three years their investment has in decreased to 13,618. And then the question says using the straight line method determine the rate per annum at which her investment de decreased. So for this case as well Jeanette she has uh, put her um, uh, 18,000 into a high risk unit trust of which the value of her investment will be decreasing over time. Then after uh, three years, as they've mentioned in the question, the, the her investment is now worth 13,680. Then we have to calculate the rate, which is the interest rate that was used so that her, her amount decreased from 18,000 into 13,680 in three years time. So what we have here, we have 18,000, which is our P, which is the initial amount that, that she has invested. And we have 13,680, which is the final amount she, that she will get after three years. Then we also have a period, which is uh, three years. Then what we need is I, which is the interest rate of the, of the uh, which was used for, for, for her investment. Then between the two equation, which is simple growth and simple decay, we will use the equation of simple decay because the value of the investment decreases uh, over, over time instead of appreciating. Then we have, in this case, we have A is equals to P into 1 minus I N still, of which uh, A, we already have A, which is 30,680, because this, this is the amount that she will receive after three years. Then we have P, which is 18,000. This is the original amount that she has invested into this account, minus 1i. This is what we're looking for, and the pre period is 3 years. Then from here, we only have one unknown, which is i. Then I'll just use the calculator to see uh, what she will have after, what, what the interest rate that was used for her investment to have decreased to 13,618 in 3 years' time. Then here, I'll divide with uh, 18,000 both equation on both sides with 13,000 with 18,000 I mean so it will be 13,680 divided by 18,000 of which this will give 0 0.76 and we know this is 1 this will be 1 minus 3i then to get the value of i it will be 3i is equals to 1 minus 0 0.76 after taking this to this side of the equation and then 0, 0.76 to the other side of the equal sign. Then here we'll have uh, i, sorry guys, we'll have i which is equals to 1 minus 0, 0.76 divided by 3 multiplied by 100. Remember, we have to have interest rate in terms of percentage. That's why we have to multiply by 100 there. Then here we have 1 minus 0, 0.76 divided by 3 which is 0, 0, 0.8 multiplied by 100 that will give 8 percent so the interest rate which was used for our investment was 8 percent the problem is just the interest rate it was actually decreasing her investment instead of appreciating it so at the end of the day have uh the, the investments that she has put it has decreased to 13,680 that was a wrong investment then the second question here it says that she then invested the remainder of the of her money into an account that guarantees an interest rate of 3.5 percent per annum simple interest how much will she have after 
10 years. Then in this case, the remainder of the money that she have is 18,680. Remember that she has invested 18,000, but then she lost in her investment uh, that at the end of three years, she was only left with 13,680. That means that this is the amount that she has remained with. So this amount, she now want to invest it into an account that guarantees say 3,5% 3, per annum interest rate. And then the question says, we must find out how much she will have after 10 years then in this case we have everything that we need because we have the or we have the amount with this time this won't be a it would be p because this will, this is the initial amount that she will invest this time and then here we have the interest rate which is 3.5 percent and then we have 10 years which is our period which is n and then now we're gonna find a which is the final amount that she will have after a period of 10 years then this is simple because we're gonna use this time because uh the it really guarantees say that after 10 years uh, she will be given 3.5 percent interest each year then this time we're gonna use the equation of simple growth because they are well, the investment that she will put into the account it will actually appreciate over time and then here let me just make space here i hope you guys understood the, uh, what we were doing in this question because i will erase this part here I'll erase that part there. We're going to use the equation of A is equals to P into 1 plus I N because our investment will appreciate over time. This time P is equals to 13,680. Remember, this is the remainder of the amount that she have after, after investing for three years into a high-risk account. And then here we're going to have I plus uh, our I, which is the interest rate this time, is a guarantee of 3.5% of which you divide by 100 and then multiply by the period of 10 years which we, which is what we want to find out how much you will have after 10 years so it will be 13,680 into 1 plus 3.5 percent multiplied by 10 years which is the period that you will invest this into your account so this time she will have 18,468 after 10 years so after 10 years, which is uh, their, their amount, her investment will increase from 13,680 into uh, 18,468. So we can actually find out how, how much she has gained after after 10 years. So it's 18,468. You just subtract the two, the principal, uh, the principal value and also the final amount. Then that will give you how much she has actually gained after a period of 10 years. So in this case, uh, Janet, she actually gained 4,788 in the period of 10 years. That could be because her interest rate here is actually quite less, is 3,5. So she won't get a lot of investment even if she uh, invests for uh, a period of eight, 10 years. At least in this case, she didn't lose, she actually gained and then she has her original amount which she has, she has invested in initially of 18,000. It's actually even more by 468 in this, uh, in this account. Account. then I hope you guys understand everything in terms of simple decay and simple growth that when it's simple decay that means that the value is depreciating and if it's simple growth then that means that the value is appreciating over time you should always be uh, careful when you are investing so cause most of the investment as well they can actually be simple decay after um, you, you can actually find out that they are simple decay after a certain period of time then you must always uh, invest when you are where you are certain that the interest Interest rate that you will get and also that uh, it's not a high risk account that you, you are investing it I hope you guys understood this lesson and if you haven't please uh, do uh, put it in a comment so that we will uh, get back to you and explain more on this content thank you